five red flags are the billboards of the backcountry. If you see any one of these when you're out there, you can expect to see unstable snow. If you see several of these red flags, or any one of them is extreme or long in duration, you should consider a change of plans. What are the five red flags? Well, number one, and by far the most important, is recent avalanches, especially if it's on the same slope aspect and elevation where you're riding that day. Number two, wolfing and cracking. Well, wolfing is just what it sounds like. It's when the snowpack settles, and you can actually hear it, and sometimes there's shooting cracks that come out from under your feet. Huge red flag. Number three, precipitation loading. If it's dumping, that's defined as an inch an hour for at least six hours. That's a big red flag. Lots of stress on the snowpack. Red flag number four, wind loading. Sustained winds, lots of snow moving, creating pillows on leeward slopes. Huge red flag. Red flag number five, rapid warming. When the snow gets moist and heavy and the temperatures are increasing, kind of like what's happening out here today. These five red flags can be indicators of the avalanche problem that you might have seen in the forecast. If wind slab was in the forecast, keep your eyes out for wind loading. If persistent slab was in the forecast, keep your eyes and ears out for wolfing and cracking. You'll learn all about the five red flags in a level one avalanche course. To learn more about how to match your observations with the avalanche problems in the forecast, take a level two course. Now, let's say you trigger or you observe a slide when you're out in the backcountry. Share that with your local avalanche center. They value observations from rookies just as much as they value observations from crusty pros like you.